Hello, fellow achievers. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are not, welcome back. Today, we are diving into how to get started in Notion without all the overwhelm. So let's do it. Today, we are going to be talking about how to get started in Notion without getting overwhelmed. Now, this does particularly apply to Notion today, but just know that these tips actually apply to any productivity system you might be using. I know so many of us as high achievers we're kind of planning nerds. You know, I actually had a long coaching call last week with a couple of people in my membership where we talked about how so many of us actually plan for stress relief. You know, it can veer into planning as a procrastination tactic, but we like to plan for stress relief. And I think that's a really important thing to just know about yourself as an achiever and not necessarily try to work against, but work with. So my productivity system of choice is Notion. But like I mentioned, this, these tips I think are applicable to just about any productivity system you might be using. It applies anywhere. But with that, let's go ahead and dive in. First and foremost, I will tell you right now that I'm not any stranger to productivity systems. Over the years, I have tried Monday, I have tried ClickUp, I have tried Trello, I have tried pen to paper planning. I actually have a paper planner that has so many of the systems that I use in my digital planning systems in it. I have tried digital PDF planning. I have tried Evernote way back in the day. I have used, I'm sure there's more, but frankly, I'm probably forgetting some because it's just been a lot. I honestly don't remember all of them. But anyways, the point here is, I've used a lot of different systems over the years to plan, to stay productive, to organize my thoughts, to review myself. I've used a lot of different systems over the years. Notion is probably my favorite one for one simple reason. And really that reason is that the possibilities truly are endless when we're talking about a platform like Notion. I have used that expression before that you can literally plan and organize your entire life with Notion. It's actually true. And that's what's really exciting to me about Notion as a platform. But I have also heard a very, very common concern with people who are interested in using Notion, but maybe they're not 100% ready to dive in. And I frankly think, again, this applies to even ClickUp. I've heard the same thing about ClickUp. Again, we're talking specifically about Notion today, but I've heard a common concern that it's overwhelming as hell for new year users. You know, for all its potential, when you first start using Notion, it is literally a blank slate. Yes, the possibilities are endless with Notion, but the thing that is its benefit is actually also kind of its Achilles heel because the since the possibilities are endless, whenever you open up that new screen to get started, the possibilities literally, literally are endless. And it can be overwhelming for us to know that we can go so many different directions. So ultimately, where should you start? How can you benefit from this tremendously powerful and impactful tool, which again, supplies to a lot of different ones, but how can you benefit from this without getting paralyzed by overwhelm and all of the possibilities? Here are my tips when it comes to Notion or any other productivity system, like I think ClickUp falls into this category as well, but when it comes to Notion, here are my tips to get you started without overwhelm. First and foremost, tip number one is to use templates. If you are just getting started in Notion, I think the worst thing for you to do is start from scratch, to start from that blank slate. Instead, I would recommend taking advantage of the abundance of creators, YouTubers, and even Notion's own templates to help you get the ball rolling, to help you get started. Inside of Notion itself, there are tons of different templates that you could potentially utilize. They may not have the pizzazz or like the aesthetics that some of the templates that YouTubers and creators might make. But first and foremost, Notion needs to be functional. We can't just get lost in our productivity systems making them pretty. They have to be functional for us. Otherwise, what the heck is the point, right? So I think that's an important thing for us to consider is that Notion is first and foremost a productivity tool and we really need to think of it in that sense. So some of the existing templates inside of Notion are actually really, really great places to start. Anytime you create a new page, 
in Notion, it'll be that nice blank screen, but down toward where you can start to click on some of the buttons, it will say existing templates. You just click on that and you will see an abundance of options in front of you. And one might fit exactly what you need or what you're planning on using Notion for. There are templates for designers, engineers, students, HR professionals, marketers. There are personal templates. There are all sorts of templates that you can use that are just right inside of the platform. Another option though, is to leverage the templates of creators and YouTubers, many of which unofficially are very Notion centric channels where they share their workflows, they share their templates, their how to's and so much more. Some of my favorite YouTube channels that I have learned so much from when it comes to using Notion are Thomas Frank Explains, K Digital Studio and Anna Lanks among others, but those have been some that I have learned tremendous amounts about how to use Notion from. I've also got a little bit of a shameless plug here because I also have a Notion template. I know, guilty, but whatever, we're doing it. I've been building what I consider to be the ultimate anti-burnout Notion planner for a while now that incorporates and compiles some of my favorite things to do inside of Notion with some of the ideas that I've gotten from other creators and YouTubers out there. I use Notion for goal and life planning. I use it for travel planning. I use it for task management and project management. I use it for content creation. I use Notion for so many different things and it is all integrated inside of my anti-burnout digital Notion planner. It's truly like the culmination of years of playing around inside of Notion, testing out templates, testing out different workflows. And I've only recently over the course of the last six or nine months learned the power of rollups, of relations between templates to help automate and systematize so many different things. And I'm telling you right now, it's going to be such a game changer for you. If you are somebody that's newer to Notion, I also have with my Notion digital planner, you can just buy the planner or you can get an upgrade where you get a support group where I not only give you guidance on how to use the template, how to use Notion, how to customize it, how to make it more aesthetic, but I'm also there to answer any questions that you might have over the course of your time using the digital planner. So yes, shameless plug, but I do have that as well. So that's tip number one. Tip number one is to leverage templates, whether they're Notion's templates, some other creator or YouTuber's templates, or my own anti-burnout Notion digital planner. That is a great place to get started because ultimately I don't want you to have to start from scratch and I don't want you using a new productivity system that just overwhelms you. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is to watch YouTube tutorials and Notion's YouTube videos. Like I've kind of hinted at, there is a ton of functionality inside of Notion, so much so that I really didn't understand the full scope and the full capability of this platform until about six to nine months ago. And I'm still continually learning more. That's why I think it's so important as a Notion user to leverage the knowledge of others. As I've mentioned, I have learned so much about using Notion from Thomas Frank Explains, K Digital Studio, and Anna Lanks. There are a lot of other YouTubers and channels out there that I have really benefited from learning from, but those are probably the core three. YouTube actually, once you start watching these videos, is going to start recommending other similar videos for you that will help you continue your Notion education. And I think it's tremendously beneficial. This is a time where we probably don't want to reinvent the wheel, especially if you're new to Notion and you're just starting out, you're not going to want to reinvent the wheel. Leverage the information, the inspiration, and the knowledge of others so that you can get used to the platform faster. In addition to creators and YouTubers, Notion also has its own YouTube channel with videos and walkthroughs that show you some of the basics and some of the more advanced features of Notion, what to do, how to use those, so on and so forth. The really funny thing to me is the fact that Notion's YouTube channel, No Shade to Them, actually has less followers than a lot of Notion creators do, which I think shows you the power of all of these different YouTubers that are really, really helping people take Notion to the next level. I hope to become one of those YouTubers, but in the meantime, I will absolutely direct you to some of my favorite channels to learn from and grow from. Now, I do have a video link down below that is Notion's video that I think is really important to highlight because it teaches you some of the basics of how to use Notion. This video walks you through Notion's blocks, some of the different text options, so I highly recommend heading down to the description below and checking that out. Also, you will also find the link to uh, my anti-burnout digital Notion planner below if that's something you wanna check out too. Feel free to drop any questions you might have about my anti-burnout digital Notion planner. 
Oh my God, that's such a long name. I need to come up with a better name. Oh my God. But anyways, there's also a link down below and let me know if you've got any questions in the comments. So tip number one is to leverage templates. Tip number two is to watch YouTube tutorials and Notion's own YouTube videos so that you can learn from the knowledge of others. Tip number three is stick to the basics. As you are getting started and as that Notion video I referenced describes, there are some basics that I would really recommend knowing when it comes to getting to know Notion and being able to use Notion. Those basics are headers, lists, databases, and linking databases. Headers allow you to add some different aesthetics to your Notion space with different sized headers to kind of uh, highlight certain things that might need to be more you know, prominent than others. And then the different options for listing include bullets, numbered lists, to-do lists, and toggle lists. So there are some different ways to organize the information in your Notion database. Now, arguably databases are a slightly more advanced feature inside of Notion, but I think it's really, really crucial to understand, to really start to leverage and see the power inside of using Notion. I think one of the most powerful aspects of Notion is the fact that not only can you create a database to organize information, but you can link those databases together. So you might have notes in one place and tasks in another and you can cross link them in case you need a note from your notes database in to help you work through a task or a project that you might be working on. So that's a really important feature inside of Notion that we really need to make sure that we can leverage. Side note, it is also a feature inside of my anti-burnout digital planner. I know, I'm sorry, I'll stop. With database linking, you can actually create that association relatively easily. But to do that, you really need to understand the basics of databases and how to set up those relations. I have linked inside of the companion blog and I will link it in the description below, the advanced Notion training that gets into databases and how to set up some of these linkages. So those are probably the features that I would deem to be the most important features. Again, headers, different ways to list and do text inside of Notion and then databases and linking databases. I think those are the most important and I think it's really important to know that you don't need to understand every single little detail or nuance of using Notion just yet, especially if you are just getting started. However, if that is something you are interested in doing, check out my anti-burnout Notion digital planner, support group option, and you will get that support that you need to really start to understand some of the nitty gritty of using Notion. Tip number four is a little bit of a warning. And what this tip is, is beware of how addictive Notion is and can be. Consider this a word of caution from somebody who has fallen into the vortex of YouTube videos and Notion content online. It is addictive and very, very consuming. Once I started exploring the YouTube learn, um, ex once I started exploring YouTube videos and checking out the content from other creators, I ended up spending hours inside of a Notion vortex of YouTube videos, playing around with no my own Notion, integrating things, testing out different templates. And it was kind of awesome, but it was a pretty massive time suck. Notion in a lot of ways is kind of a high achievers dream because as I mentioned already, so many of us plan as a means of stress relief and having a solid plan thinking through logistics and doing all of those things can make us feel very, very prepared and in control and productive. And though it's a great thing, us high achievers do have a tendency to plan as a procrastination tactic. So here's my recommendation. Either give yourself a weekend to just screw around inside of Notion and let your inner productivity and planner nerd just go nuts, like go ham, or set time caps. I've actually used both of these things to help me learn and grow my understanding of Notion. I started by setting like 60 minute timers, actually using my fun little time cube over here, which if you like this, I will link this in the description as well, but I'll just flip this guy on its side. It sets a 60 minute timer and I'll just let myself go nuts inside of my Notion um, YouTube videos and my Notion portal, just playing around with some different things. That was great, but as I really kind of started to realize Notion is so powerful and I want to kind of throw myself and dive into Notion as kind of my go-to space and platform to use, I recently just let myself do exactly what I said a second ago, go ham and just spend an entire weekend going into YouTube videos, creating my own templates and content. And as a result, I did spend an entire weekend screwing around in Notion. I know I sound like a complete 
hermit. So maybe I shouldn't admit that. But anyways, YouTube obviously insisted on feeding my addiction too, because every time I went back into YouTube, there were more no Notion and new Notion tutorials for me to check out. So screw you, YouTube, for feeding my Notion addiction. But those are my four tips when it comes to getting started in Notion without overwhelm and try to mitigate that as much as possible. Again, I understand the power of this platform, but I also know how intimidating it can be to start from a blank slate. So first and foremost, use templates. Second, leverage YouTubers and the Notion YouTube channel to teach you some of the foundations and kind of how to use the platform. Third, stick to the basics. You do not need to understand all of the ins and outs of Notion as a platform to be able to benefit from using it. And four, beware of how addictive Notion can be. And again, this applies to any productivity platform. Using templates is a great way to start and click up. Learning from other YouTubers or the YouTube channel of your productivity platform is an important way to learn how to use it you know, sticking to the basics and not asking yourself to learn everything from the get-go is important. And no matter what productivity platform we're talking about, it is probably going to be addictive. And you're probably, especially because you're a high achiever and I know how much you get out of having good planning systems, it's probably going to be tempting for you to just kind of lose yourself in your new productivity system. Again, the most important thing is not only that things aesthetic and that you enjoy using it, but that it is functional. That is the most important thing with any of these productivity systems. And I hope these four tips gave you some insight on the best practices for getting started. All right, that's it friends. That's all I've got for you today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, comment down below with your favorite takeaways and let me know your favorite thing about using Notion. Until next time.